guys, grab a cup of tea, it's tea time. So this morning I announced that I was doing a Q&A later today and that is right now. So I'm gonna go through a bunch of your questions that you guys sent me to my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Okay. If you could have dinner with two famous people, who would it be and what would you order? To make this easier, let's say I can pick dead people as well, so dead people and live people. I would love to have pie, like warm vegetable pie with Tolkien and Madame Le Pompadour. <laughs> I think that would be a very interesting, great conversation. Um, yeah. So I got a lot of questions about my degree, university and stuff like that. So first of all, what did I study and where? I studied Celtic languages and culture at the Utrecht University. I have a whole separate video about that if you're interested. So yeah, I majored in Celtic languages and culture. I didn't do a minor, I just picked a bunch of random subjects that had to do with history. So I did Old English, Old Norse, Greek mythology, art history. I did a few art history courses, stuff like that. I know stuff about the Middle Ages. <laughs> a few people also asked whether I want to pursue this, um, you know, field, a career in this field. Well, there isn't really much of a field, to be honest. When it comes to Celtic, there's research, but not that many people get into the research. So what do I plan for my career? I want to work in online entertainment. And whether that's, you know, in content production or um, behind the scenes, it doesn't really matter. I just really love the world of online entertainment. So then I got a lot of questions about Robert and I. <laughs> you guys are really curious about that. Someone asked why we aren't living together and that's mainly for practical reasons. Robert is still studying, he is doing a master's degree in math. He studies in Amsterdam. I live in Utrecht, obviously, and so it wouldn't make sense for him to move here because then he would have to, you know, travel a long distance. There is no way that I'm moving back to Amsterdam ever in my life. So <laughs> yeah, that's one of the reasons. The other reason is just plain financial. Um, since he is studying full time, he would just be working so much that I would never, ha never get to see him anymore. So yeah, no religious reasons, not like we were waiting to get married before we were in together, just practical stuff. At some point we do want to get married. It's just, it's not planned yet, I mean, I'm 22, he's just 21, so there's time for that. <laughs> so someone asked, do you plan on getting any pets soon? Um, I have pets, I have two little ratties. So I've had two sets of two rats. <laughs> so four rats by now, it is so sad that rats just pass so quickly. I wish they lived longer, but that's just how they are. So yeah, you can see my rats every now and then in my vlogs on my vlog channel. They are adorable. Their names are Maxen and Fergus after Maxen Vladik from Welsh mythology and uh, Fergus Macroig from Irish mythology. And as for the future, uh, when eventually Robert and I are moving together, we would like to get uh, cats. Are you ever going to do a meetup in insert city. <laughs> yeah, I did one meetup in Amsterdam and that was really fun so I would definitely like to do another one somewhere in the Netherlands and I'm going to London in the summer so I may do a meetup there if people would be interested to go to that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let me know if you would want to come if I do it on, on a weekend. Say, You have the chance to visit one place but it would be your last. Which would it be and why? So I'm guessing I die afterwards or is it just the last place I ever get to visit? I would go to Slovakia um, where I'm from originally and I would probably go into the mountains and just take my whole family <laughs> with me into the mountains and um, yeah that that's where my last trip would go to. Have you ever wanted to write a book? Yes, writing a book is high on my bucket list. I actually started writing a book when I was a teenager. It was a fantasy novel. I've been working, I, I worked on that for a few years, actually on and off. Um, I wrote it and I rewrote it and I rewrote it and it just got longer and longer and longer as I went. And one day I would really like to revisit that concept and um, just rewrite it and maybe publish it. And I would also write, like to write some non-fiction as well. Who knows, maybe one day. What's your favorite Irish myth? Total Brudnia da Derga, or the destruction of da Derga's hostel. It's a very long tale about a king who travels through the country and then he kind of, as he goes, he breaks all his gesa, which are taboos, which you die when you break them. I'm going way into like complicated stuff here. 
Anyways, he breaks all his taboos and that means he has to die. So you kind of already know in the beginning that he's going to die, especially because of the title. I mean, the destruction of Dadergas Hostel. So yeah, he's going somewhere and then on the way he stops at Dadergas Hostel. And then one of his enemies is outside and he kind of... Um, and they look inside the hostel. <laughs> I can't really remember how it went exactly because it's so long and it's been a while since I read it. Yeah, my favorite part is when they send out a watchman to go look who's inside the hostel so they know whether they can enter or not and whether there are any enemies inside. And every time he goes, he looks into one of the rooms and then he comes back and tells them what's inside. And there are like wonderful things inside the rooms. <laughs> Giants and red knights and just most fantastic creatures. So yes, I absolutely love that. And then in the end, of course, everybody dies a very violent death. Because that's, I mean, Irish medieval literature for you. That's my favorite. I wanted to write my thesis on it, but the year before someone published a book that had everything in it that I wanted to write my thesis on, so I couldn't do it. I was sad. Oh, I love this question. If you had to pick an era in which to live based on fashion and makeup, which would you choose? So I thought about this and I think I would go for Baroque. I was considering Rococo, but that's maybe a little over the top. Maybe a lot. <laughs> I just love all the feminine stuff. Crazy tacky, but oh, I love it. I, I wish I could go all out like that and not be regarded as being ridiculous. And I love the dresses. I mean, huge poofy skirts, bows everywhere, ribbons, white wigs. Yeah. And if not, then I'd go for something just a little bit before that, when it was still, you know, pretty frilly and feminine, but not that much. <laughs> so those were all the questions, guys. Thank you so much for sending them in. Keep your eyes peeled for when I announce to do my next question and answer session, because I absolutely love filming these. I really hope you enjoy watching them as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye!